Can you see my screen? Yes. Ah. We can see it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Shiraz Aslam, uh, working as a research associate and also I am PhD candidate at the Department of Electrical Engineering, Computer Engineering and Informatics, Cyprus University of Technology. Today, uh, I am here to present my recent research work titled Enhanced Birth Allocation Using the Cuckoo Search Algorithm. In this study, Basically, I have developed uh, a meta heuristic based uh, solution to deal with birth allocation uh, problem at the smart ports. So, maritime container terminals play an important role in the maritime industry. They are also known as uh, backbone of any economy, uh, as most of the imports and exports are done with maritime container terminal. The presented figure uh, show an overview of maritime container terminal. Basically, maritime container terminal has three fundamental areas. The first one is seaside area. You can see uh, here the light blue color. And seaside area is primarily responsible to deal with uh, loading and unloading operations of arriving ships. The waiting area is also included uh, in the seaside area. The second one area is marshalling yard area. And this area is primarily uh, responsible to store all the arriving containers. And then the all arriving containers are delivered by land to their required places. And the last one area is land side area. And this area basically connects internal and external transport at the maritime container terminal. So, <clears throat> global containerized trade is increasing day by day. For example, in 2018, a global maritime containerized trade was 8.4 billion tons, which was increased in 2019 to 11.1 .1 billion tons. However, Lack of efficient birth planning and improper use of port resources at the maritime container terminal increases several problems. For example, accidents at the sea, congestion problem at port, and long waiting times for vessels before optimal birthing, and delays in vessel departures. So, birth allocation is a first and fundamental decision problem at the maritime container terminal where allocating of available berthing position to arriving ships is known as birth allocation problem this this decision is this decision depends on uh, several elements for example ship characteristics terminal characteristics and several constraints ship characteristics includes uh, length of vessel, total load on the vessel, and terminal characteristics include berthing layout. It may be discrete berthing layout or continuous berthing layout. Let me uh, explain next. And the depth of berth extra. And constraints include, uh, for example, uh, if any vessel has uh, any preferred berthing position, uh, it's requested departure time or any preferred birthing queue at the terminal. So the presented figure uh, show the timeline of birth allocation problem. So for example, if any ship arrives at point A, and if it start working at uh, point B, so the difference between point A and B is known as waiting time. It arrives at point A, but start working at point B. The difference is waiting time. Uh, if it start working at point B uh, and the requested departure time by vessel company, vessel companies is uh, at point C, however, it completes uh, its task at point D, the difference between point C and D is known as delay in departure time. So, in birth allocation problem, the primary objective, uh, usually the primary objective is to reduce uh, this uh, waiting time and delay in departure time and overall cost of this process. Birth allocation problem has uh, several uh, variants regarding birthing layout and vessel arrival. 
As for birthing layout, there are three fundamental types, discrete birthing layout, continuous birthing layout, and hybrid birthing layout. In discrete birthing layout, the whole wharf is divided into number of uh, births, and one birth can be used by only one vessel to perform its uh, loading and unloading operations. You can see here figure A, which shows discrete birthing layout. As for continuous birthing layout, um, in continuous birthing layout, the whole wharf is not divided into number of berths and the arriving vessels can be moved anywhere throughout the wharf. You can see here a uh, figure B. Regarding hybrid birthing layout, this is a complex type of uh, birthing layout. Uh, here, basically, uh, features of uh, discrete and continuous birthing layout are uh, used. Sometimes, uh, single birth single birth can be used by more than one vessel. You can see here uh, in figure C, birth 1. You can see here there are two ships at birth 1. And sometimes, a large vessel can use uh, more than one birth. You can see here uh, birth 2 and birth 3 by utilized only ship 3. This is a hybrid birthing layout. As for vessel arrival, there are also two types of vessel arrival, static arrival and dynamic arrival. In static vessels arrival, uh, it is assumed uh, all the vessels are at the terminal before planning horizon. However, in dynamic vessel arrival, there are uh, there are no vessels at the port before planning horizon. However, the expected time of vessel arrival is known in advance. So, in this study, we are dealing with the uh, continuous birthing layout uh, along with dynamic vessel arrivals. So, there is a, uh, some uh, example data for birth allocation problem. To solve birth allocation problem, we are using data like this. Uh, the first column is ship number. The second one is ETA, uh, expected time of uh, vessel's arrival. HT is uh, uh, handling time in hours and ETD is expected time of vessel departure and PBT is preferred berthing position for vessels and the last column shows length of ships. So after uh, implementing our scheduler, uh, we will have solution uh, like uh, this. So here each rectangle uh, shows uh, a ship where uh, y dimension is a uh, length of vessel and x dimension is total processing time of any vessel. So the fundamental objective of this study is to reduce a uh, total processing task for all vessel by minimizing a uh, total waiting time and late departure times. So here is our uh, cost function. Uh, the total processing task of any ship includes uh, three tasks. Waiting cost, handling cost, late departure penalty cost. As discussed earlier, uh, the waiting cost is a uh, difference between uh, arrival time and birthing time, and uh, it incurs uh, if any ship waits before optimal birthing. The handling cost is uh, is cost of total uh, loading and unloading operational, and late departure penalty is uh, added if any ship departs late after then requested departure time. So in this study, uh, we, al we also have added one uh, penalty because of non-optimal uh, berthing position. If uh, any ship has a preferred berthing position and our solution, our proposed method uh, does, not, uh, uh, does not assign that preferred berthing position, so a specific penalty is added in total handling cost. So here is an uh, objective function of this study, which is to minimize uh, total cost, which includes um, waiting cost, handling cost, and late departure penalty cost. So here are uh, some constraints of this study. So the constraint one um, ensures that uh, each ship must be assigned once throughout the planning period. This is a uh, main constraint of the study, uh, which ensures uh, to avoid overlapping of two ships. You can see in this figure, basically uh, this constraint ensures to avoid this situation. For example, uh, sh uh, ship uh, I is berthing already. If ship J is overlapping in term of maybe time or in term of uh, length of war, so this constraint ensures to avoid this situation at the terminal. So the next constraint, ensures that the expected time of vessel arrival uh, must be less than or equal to 
birthing position, uh, birthing time, which is proposed by our solution, and the last constraint ensured that the last constraint ensured that the birthing position of any ship plus length of ship must be less than or equal to length of bar. Basically, this constraint ensured to avoid this situation. You can see here, if um, um, the birthing position is 800 meter and the length of ship J is 400 meter, so it means it takes the position 800 meter to 1200 meter. However, the length of wharf is 1000 meter, so this constraint ensured that the, this distance 1200 meter is uh, avoided in this situation. So, to, to deal with the uh, aforementioned problem, uh, we have proposed a higher uh, meta heuristic based uh, Cuckoo search algorithm. Cuckoo search algorithm is an optimization algorithm which is inspired by the breeding behavior of some cuckoo species. And these cuckoo species uh, usually lay their eggs in the other nests of other host birds, probably from uh, other species. So, uh, there are five fundamental steps of uh, Cuckoo Search Algorithm. Uh, at step one, uh, generate initial population of uh, N host nest. And then Cuckoo uh, lay the egg in the K nest, where K nest is uh, randomly selected, randomly chosen. And Cuckoo egg is very similar to the host nest in order to increase the hatching probability. At step three, Compare the fitness of uh, cuckoo egg with the fitness of uh, host egg. Here, fitness mean our objective function, which is to minimize our total cost of uh, uh, all the arriving vessels. So, if the fitness of cuckoo egg is better than host egg, replace the egg in nest K by cuckoo egg. And the last step, if uh, um, in order to avoid a uh, local optima, uh, this step is added. If host bird notices it, uh, basically, if host bird notices the egg of cuckoo, the nest is abandoned and new one is built in order to avoid local optima. There are uh, three fundamental rules for cuckoo search algorithm. The first one is each cuckoo lays only one egg at a time in randomly chosen nest. The second one is the best nest with high quality of eggs. High quality of eggs mean high quality solution will be carried over to the next generation. The egg laid by a cuckoo is discovered by the host bird with a probability of 0 or 1. So, here is a, a cuckoo search algorithm mapping to uh, our uh, formulated problem, birth allocation problem. Here, each nest show a solution set which includes a uh, birthing time and a birthing position. You can see here a nest. If a nest uh, has two eggs, it means one egg show birthing position for any sheep. And the second one is show birthing time for any ship. So if we have, uh, for example, 20 vessels, it means each nest has uh, 40 eggs. Because for each vessel, we need two eggs, one for birthing time and the second for birthing position. And egg shows either a birthing time or birthing position. Uh, cuckoo egg shows a new and a better birthing time or birthing position. And total number of host nests is fixed and which show the total search space of the problem. So there is a uh, experimental uh, setup um, in order to validate our proposed Google search algorithm. Uh, we are using a realistic data set taken from a reference one which contains uh, expected time of vessel arrival, handling time, expected time of vessel departure, preferred birthing position for ships uh, and length of ship. Furthermore, we also uh, we, we also have developed a random data uh, considering uh, up to 100 vessels. And in this data, which we have taken from reference one, uh, it contains uh, uh, data for 10 vessels. So as far uh, comparison, uh, we also implement uh, two benchmark approaches. Uh, genetic algorithm and mixed integer linear programming. So, uh, here is a birth allocation solution proposed by Cuckoo Search Algorithm, Genetic Algorithm, and Mixed Integer Linear Programming. Here, uh, each rectangle represents a ship, 
and uh, y dimension is vessel length and x dimension is processing time let me explain uh, in the next slide so uh, basically uh, this figure is uh, this figure shows uh, waiting time uh, based on previous uh, allocation for example if we see uh, vessel number 2 uh, using uh, coco search algorithm uh, vessel 2 is waiting for 1 hour however using genetic algorithm vessel 2 is waiting for 5 hour and using mixed integer linear programming there is no waiting time against vessel 2 here you can see here uh, vessel 2 is birthed at uh, time slot 11 time slot 11 and uh, here expected time arrival is 5 so here it is uh, another important thing to note uh, we are considering a 30 minutes time interval we have uh, data for uh, one hour time interval so it means is it if expected time of arrival is 10th uh, uh, hour so, or oh, fifth hour for vessel 2 so it means there are 10th slot you can see here using cuckoo search algorithm uh, Cuckoo search is uh, allocating uh, birthing uh, time uh, 11 for ship 2 and using uh, genetic algorithm it is uh, allocating uh, uh, birthing time 15 you can see here and using uh, mixed integer linear programming you can see here there is no waiting time as uh, mixed integer linear programming is allocating birthing time 10 for ship 2 so that's this figure basically uh, explain waiting time based on previous allocation so uh, from this figure uh, we can uh, observe that uh, using mixed integer linear programming there is only one vessel vessel number four uh, which has to wait for only one hour and uh, using the cuckoo search algorithm there are only two ships that need to wait for uh, vessel two is for one hour and vessel four for Two hours however using genetic algorithm there are maximum ships which are five ships that need to wait for optimal birth allocation and the maximum waiting time is five hours for vessel two so we can say that uh, mixing digital linear programming is uh, providing an optimal solution of course uh, mathematical programming language are always provide optimal solution and cuckoo search algorithm is providing their optimal solution as far uh, requested and the late departures uh, you can uh, observe here there is no any vessel which is departed late using mixed integer linear programming basically here the last one bar show requested departure time which is provided by shipping company and the yellow color shows solution by mixed integer linear programming red color shows by genetic algorithm and the blue color shows by cuckoo search algorithm and you can see here there is no any ship which depart late using mixed integer linear programming and cuckoo search algorithm. However, using genetic uh, algorithm, uh, you can observe here ship number two is uh, departing uh, late, almost uh, two hours, and ship five, which also departs uh, late, almost one hour. So we can uh, we can also uh, observe from this figure. Uh, again, mixed integer linear programming and cuckoo search algorithm are uh, providing optimal uh, solution as compared to genetic algorithm. So, here is a comparative analysis uh, when we are uh, using uh, random data. Basically, in previous results, we were presenting uh, results from realistic data of uh, 10 vessels. Uh, however, here uh, we, we are presenting uh, results uh, from our random data which we have generated uh, by uniform distribution and uh, we have considered here with 10 to 100 vessels you can see here uh, again cuckoo uh, mixed integer linear programming always provide optimal solution however when we compare uh, the total cost of mixed integer linear programming with genetic algorithm and cuckoo search algorithm the cost of genetic algorithm is high uh, as compared to cuckoo search algorithm so cuckoo search algorithm always provide near optimal solution when we increase our uh, ships 10 to 20 20 30 and then we increase 50 to 60 ships mixed integer linear programming runs out of memory and it cannot solve uh, the problem considering 60 vessels however our cuckoo search algorithm uh, always solve a uh, problem and within affordable computational time so here you can see that 
uh, if we have considered six uh, 60 ships so the total cast of Google search algorithm is uh, 2102 however by genetic algorithm 2137 so same for um, same for all comparison and uh, Google search always provide near optimal solution so here is a conclusion of this study uh, in this study, uh, we focus on continuous and uh, dynamic birth allocation problem. Uh, meta heuristic based uh, search algorithm is uh, proposed to solve birth allocation problem. As for comparison purpose, genetic algorithm and image genome programming are uh, implemented. The newly developed Google search algorithm outperforms uh, genetic algorithm in terms of total handling cost. When we compare it with mixed integral linear programming, our proposed to such algorithm provides a near optimal solution less than 5% from the optimal at a fraction of the computation time. Furthermore, uh, mixed integral linear programming cannot solve the problem uh, when we consider more than uh, 50 sheets. So, um, so we can conclude uh, from this study, uh, meta heuristic based to such algorithm always provide a uh, Best solution in terms of computational time and computational cost while considering a uh, maximum number of arriving vessels. In future, uh, we are planning to uh, consider uh, more complex and more practical uh, problem formulations. Uh, for example, uh, we tend to we tend to implement a birth allocation problem on uh, by considering uh, multiple wharfs. Uh, as uh, um, the port of uh, Limazole, we are planning to use real-time data from port of Limazole. Even I have started working on um, this. So we are also planning to consider a hybrid birthing layout. Uh, we have the birthing layout. We have the birthing layout consider uh, both features from discrete birthing layout and continuous birthing layout. We are also plan to we also plan to consider uh, handling uncertainties because of because of weathers or maybe because of uh, human interventions. So thank you uh, very much for your uh, attention. So any questions? Shiraz? Yes, thank you, Sharas, for your comprehensive uh, presentation. Uh, it was quite interesting. In a, on a topic that uh, we are not uh, actually aware, but it was very interesting. Uh, okay, if uh, there is any question from the audience, please. Okay, uh, we are on a schedule. So um, I, I will have um, a question. Actually, it's a clarification. Yes, yes, sure. Um, I'm not sure whether I understood uh, the, the the evaluation project. I mean the um, the, um, com the comparison of uh, the results of the Kubu uh, algorithm in contrast with the uh, other two algorithms yeah. uh, in terms of cost and time. Yeah. And uh, these these data that you are displaying now are coming from the evaluation through the realistic data or the random data? Yeah. Ah, random data, okay. Yeah, this is from random data. Basically, uh, we also uh, developed random data based on original data. I mean, okay. we, we didn't generate uh, randomly length of ship, uh, arriving time. We Our random data is also based on original data. For example, you can see here uh, if the length, the length of minimum length of ship is 128 meter, for example, and the highest ship is uh, uh, yes 423 meter. So we have developed uh, a length of ship in between 128 and 423 meters. Same like uh, handling time, you can see here if the minimum handling time for any ship is uh, one hour and the maximum is five hour. So in random data, we have developed a uh, uh, handling time in between one hour and five hour. So we are following uh, all parameters uh, in real. Okay. Yeah. Uh, please proceed to the next uh, uh, slide, please. This one? No, 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 no. The um, 
The purple lines requested departure yes. time. Yeah, yeah. This is provided by our ships, basically our shipping companies. You can... Ah, okay. Okay, I, I, I'm fine. Okay, thank you very much. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. One last chance for a question from the audience. Okay, um, just uh, note uh, everybody that. But um, we, you can uh, contact Shiraz. We will uh, share the contact details of Shiraz and the, all the presenters. And uh, if anybody wants to make a question, a clarification, or uh, anything, uh, he can contact them um, on some other time. Yes, yes, they can well, do that. Okay, thank you very much, Shiraz. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for providing this. Uh... Nice opportunity to present my work. Thank you. You are great. Thank you. Okay, uh, we are in front of uh, the schedule actually, but we can um, uh, use this time to make our break bigger um, after the next uh, presentation. Uh, if uh, Panayotis 